Welcome back to Flora and the Novice Explorers. In today's video, we are driving through Spain's famous Rioja region. Unfortunately, we can't be here for too long, so this will be our whistle-stop tour of the region. Soaking in the scenery, sampling a few glasses of the local tipple, and seeking out a foodie hotspot. Good morning. The last time we saw you were in Portugal, but now we're in the Rioja region of Spain and uh, we've woken up to a pretty good view, eh? So this was our rather wonderful spot last night. Beautiful view. It's absolutely stunning here. Last night we had an incredible sunset just over there and it's been so incredibly quiet. The most noise we heard was the farmer moving his cattle. They all had bells around their neck. So we've driven just over 360 miles from Portugal to the Rioja region in Spain. And what we're going to do now is because traveling that fast isn't really our style. So now we're here and the weather's so beautiful and so is the scenery. We're going to sort of chill out for a day or two, film a little video, yeah. um, experience the Rioja region, maybe taste some wine, maybe even go on a tour, we don't know yet, and just sort of make the most of it because we want to see little places as we go because we're in a slight rush to get to the south of France. Yes, the weather is rather lovely, but it's February and it's kind of out of wine season. Not that there's really a season for wine, but I would just love to see this place when it's bright, bright, vivid green, yeah. or even like the, the grape crushing season in like um, <laughs> autumn. But we'll get some seasonal work. Exactly. <laughs> so, your cheesy little feet. Oh, behave. <laughs> Cheese wine, anyone? <laughs> so now it's time for the pack down and to get ready to hit the road. By now, we are like a well oiled machine because teamwork makes the dream work. It's like a bloody ritual. <laughs> We both have our little jobs. We do overlap sometimes. Uh, it just takes, I reckon if we were desperate, we could probably get away from somewhere like the dogging site in about five minutes or so. Yeah? yeah. So it's now a 20 minute drive to Briones and we'll go for a wander about. So we'll see you when we get there. So we've arrived in Briones and we're not sure really what to expect. So what we're gonna do is head into the town and just get lost basically in a nice way. So behind me is the Dinastia Vianco, which is a wine museum, and it has a collection of over 3,000 corkscrews. So it costs 16 euros for a self-guided tour of the museum, but for the full experience, that's a vineyard tour, museum access and wine tasting, it's a cool 45 euros. So needless to say, we won't be doing that today. But we'll wait for later on to find another one. Oh, I do want to experience it, but Maybe for a little less money. <laughs> Briones is built upon a hilltop and it's quite an uphill walk into the town centre. This ancient village was founded in the first century. It's one of the top places to visit in the Rioja region as it has a vibrant cultural heritage, intact medieval buildings and plenty of summer festivals. So, you wanted some facts. Well, I've got a couple for you. The Rioja region has over 63,500 hectares of vineyards and produces 280 to 300 million litres of wine a year. Or as me and Meg call it, a quiet night in. We wandered the streets 
and gazed at the famous 16th century church. So last night we think we were camped about here-ish, looking at it. Keep your fingers still. Oh. <laughs> somewhere, somewhere around there. Wow, lower. Lower. Higher. Don't be so drastic with your movements. About there. Okay. Yeah, somewhere there. So we were overlooking this last night, and we were just saying how reminiscent of the Montserrat area it is especially as we approached Barcelona and we were near vineyards then as well, weren't we? Mm, um, Carver vineyards then. Carver, yeah, so we've got a taste for Carver from that little trip. The village was pretty quiet out of season. We found very little was open, other than the churches. but we did manage to find one open bar and stopped off for a quick coffee in the square. But now we are hopping over the regional border into the Basque country, but it's still known as the Rioja region, so. And we're heading to La Guardia. Yeah. And we're gonna go visit a very, very modern winery. Um, it looks quite cool. You might be familiar with it. Um, you might recognize it from elsewhere. Hopefully we're gonna have a good look at it, but um, to see what's going on over there, about yeah. 17 kilometers. Something like that, yes. Something so like that, yeah. Let's roll. Ooh. Warm. Yeah. Toasty. It was a short 25 minute drive to our next stop. masterpiece behind us. It's known as the temple dedicated to wine and it looks a lot better in the flesh than on the pictures that we'd seen. This is Bodega Yisios. Built in 2001 and designed by famous architect Santiago Calatrava, this winery is iconic in the region. Its modern design echoes the colours of the landscape. It's very impressive to see. So once again, tours are available at the winery for about 15 euros, but it's not the one for us. Um, we've just had a quick glimpse and it's very impressive, but turn we're going right to go... onto a 3228, then make a U-turn. But we're going to go and explore the town of Lagardia. You get in the lift? I think it's free. This modern lift took us up into the town high up on the hill. <laughs> Not quite what I was expecting. Doesn't mess about. Oh wow. Once again, we're not really here for anything specific, so we're just going to have a quick mooch around, that being a little walk and a look. Can't spend any money, eh, kid? <laughs> That's the game. We roamed the narrow streets and found ourselves in a public courtyard, with a balcony that overlooked the Sierra Cantabria mountains, with rows of twisted vines that carpeted the region. So that was unexpected, wasn't it? Yeah, it was a much more upmarket area than we thought. It's very, very nice. As you've seen from the foot, it's a very smart looking place. Um, lots of boutiques, lots of like wine bars with pinchos being served. And for yeah. six euros for chorizo. <laughs> that's a lot of money. Yeah, that's not in our budget today. So yeah. we kind of uh, just had a walk around and uh, enjoyed the views. So now we're going to go back to the van slowly and probably find somewhere to camp for tonight. Wowee! It's been a long time since the inside of the van has felt like an oven. Does it bring back fun memories? Yes, it does. <laughs> I thought you were going to finish the sentence. <laughs> there was a question. So yeah, it's a bit of a sweaty one today. We're not complaining by any means. Absolutely lovely. And we're taking a 20 minute drive to uh, Long Noro. Long Noro. Long Noro. 
Long Noro, I think. It's a large town that we're hoping to explore in depth tomorrow, but we want to find a free park up for tonight, chill out, get some stuff done, and then where we're parking should be about a 15 minute walk from the centre, so we can explore nice and easy there tomorrow, Sunday. Apparently it's quite lively, so looking forward to that. The route that we are on, I think, is rather good because nothing is really more than half an hour's drive away and you're driving through the Rioja region, you're seeing it and uh, the towns are really nice as well. Ooh, there's a hot take for you. We'll see you when we get there. Before I sleep, hear the cricket, see the moon. So we've made it. This spot is going to be substance over style and it's going to provide us a great spot to start off tomorrow's adventure. It's not a looker, but it's been recommended by Matt and Stacey, so thank you guys. Good morning from Le Grogno. Probably a good afternoon by now, I think. Yeah, it's getting on a little bit. We've had a lovely lie-in. We slept particularly well. Yeah. Considering it's a busy car park next to the road, it was pr pretty good. And it's now time, hopefully, to have a little bit of Rioja tasting, if we can. But it's a Sunday today, mm. so tasting, we'll see. But behind us, I've noticed a market, and later on today, we're hoping to have a few tasty tastes of Lagrano. Not the market I was particularly imagining. It was like a Saturday market back in the UK with very little food, but I still managed to sniff some out. A nice massive baguette for tomorrow breakfast. And because I'm always thinking about food, we've kind of only just had breakfast today, but I bought two ham and cheese like pizza breads for later so that we don't have to spend too much money um, going to a restaurant or anything. Always thinking me. Logroño is the capital of the Rioja region and centre of trade. We trotted across the iconic Iron Bridge and into the centre. So we're now in what's left of the old city walls, which was built in the 16th century. It's free to come into this little museum. There's videos, interactive things to watch, and uh, they've got uh, everything translated in English, which is uh, pretty cool. Favourite. So you can't come to Logroño without going down this street behind us called Calle Laurel or Laurel Street. Basically it's a street of gastronomic delights, tapas bars all the way down where we're going to literally hop to each one. So we're going to try a fair few pinchos and a couple of glasses of Rioja. So thank you to Matt and Stacey and little Henry for recommending this place. I'm quite excited and I'm quite hungry too. Pinchos are a snack that accompanies aperitifs. Pinchos loosely translated means to pierce so you will more often than not find these snacks are secured with a cocktail stick. We sampled a fair few, each paired with a glass of house Rioja. This is a popular tourist attraction and hangout in Lagrano. So much so, the tourist board have created a Pinchos guide where each establishment has a house speciality. Very tasty and very worth a visit. So we're heading back to the van slightly earlier than planned and that is due to a schoolboy error by myself and Meg. We're obviously in the bars a little while ago having some food and drink. We managed to do three and then they all started to close at around five o'clock. And we were told by one of the friendly staff members that they don't open up until about 7, 7.30 for later on. And I don't think we're gonna make that. 
because we're a bit lethargic now. Mm. So we might just go back to the van and chill out. Maybe if we've got a second wind we might we might head back for more but I'm quite satisfied we had quite a few little nibbles and a couple glasses of wine as well. Good morning well it's probably more afternoon now we uh, had a really good day yesterday in Lugrono uh, we got back to the van we're very tired so we didn't really do much and um, there's a few things we missed out on doing, like we wanted to do a wine tour, like we said. However, with it being sort of winter, there's very limited options, so we really could have done with booking in advance. Yeah, I think it's one of the things that we really should have done here, but also we would really have liked to have found like a, a stay on the stay on the vineyards. We stayed on a Carver vineyard in outside of Barcelona, mm. and they're really cool. We had a, a taste session there and a tour, and they just allow you to stay. Um, on the vineyard, so it's absolutely perfect. But there's not one available in the Rioja region. Yeah, which is quite strange. Mm. But as you saw from uh, the footage we got of how smart they are, I can kind of understand why they don't. But then again, mm. it's it, well, it's good for business. Yeah, we also we could, we could have gone today if we'd have booked on, but if we're drinking wine and we need to drive later on, we can't drink and drive. So we're also stuck for time, really. So we're going to continue onwards. Yes. So that's it for our Rioja region road trip. Just a little stint. If you'd like to see exactly where we were and where we've stayed and the towns, head over to our blog to read about it in a bit more detail. Join us next time as we hot foot it over the Pyrenees and find our very first hot spring. <laughs>